out of the bathroom and she stood there right brown one hand chicken pakora in the other and she oh, said what? i'm sorry folks i got across the pen oh, let's get back to bradford i oh, said i'm kareem look after yourself all right mate. take it easy man all right see you next time yeah see you in september i'll walk you out see you man i'll call you yeah you want to come see my town? Who knows? Might pass by at some point. Check out Bradistan. <laughs> Come down here, yeah. I will put them in hospital myself. How's that, bro? That's good. I'm gonna bring my baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, <back> man. <laughs> I swear, if they think this is gonna be like Burnley or Oldham, they are seriously underestimating us. Abdul, the National Front definitely coming. Yeah. Police have cancelled the mail, haven't they? They must know something. It's in all the papers. Yeah. If they come, they're gonna get battered. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, man, looking good. <laughs> I know this is very disappointing for you all, but the decision to cancel the final day of the festival has been taken for reasons of public safety. That's all I can say. That's crap. If the National Front are banned from marching tomorrow, then why are you still letting them disrupt our festival? Yes. We believe some National Front supporters will be coming to Bradford. It's an issue of safety and our manpower. What kind of message is this going to send out to our community? Tell me, are we being held to ransom by the National yes. Front? I mean, can they do as they please? This is obviously a difficult decision for everybody. But most of all, I call for restraint and calm in your community tomorrow. My kid has looked forward to this for months. I mean, you're all gutless. Oi. What's this? Hey. Are you still doing all the black magic stuff with the hickey? Nah, man. It protects me from bad luck. Check it out. Isn't that nuts? He's just jacked that. <laughs> I know whose card that is. Around me. <laughs> Good to be back, bro. <laughs> so what's going on with this NF stuff? Uh, everyone's just typed up for some big make belief and I blame it on the hot weather. Take off this dumb costume, and now he's got curry on it. I've got this stuff to do, Fessel. Okay, I'll talk to him.
Empty eyes. Empty eyes, look at me. No, we're really sorry the festival isn't happening tomorrow, but you Mr. can't... Mr. Butterfly, you promise. But Daddy, you can't be angry all day. It isn't good for anyone. You're late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Abba. Did you come by train or by bus? I got the coach. It took me an hour and a half. So, tell me, does your tutor give you any advice about choosing a dissertation? No, no, Abba Jeez. Totally our choice. I was thinking of the American Civil Rights Movement. Oh, that's good. Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks. Yeah, it's good. I remember it all. How are you doing, Kareem? Hey, yeah. I'm good, bro. You? Good. Hey, I saw you mate Aki earlier. Right. Tell me, how does a skinny 22-year-old run like him before the Subaru Impreza? Ah, uh, ways and means. Oh, yeah, like what? Could really do with some tips from him. Name one For thing. For God's sake, Vessel, let the boy eat. He's got thin on university food. <laughs> Name one thing your friends are respectful. Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come on, bro. A lot of respect for Ferraris oh, round here. No. And Porsches. What do you students eat in Manchester, honey? Just chips and beans? Yeah, and pizzas. I'll teach you to cook this summer. Mm. It's going to be too busy working in the shop with me. I can't help you this holiday festival. I've got a dissertation to do. You'll make time. I can't. I've got my own work. You think the food you're eating just falls on the table? No, it comes from Morrison's. Yeah, be a smart ass. You're going to be there tomorrow. He has to study, Faisal. Abaji, I really need him this summer. It is his final year. Salam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give me ten minutes. What's wrong with you? He's got a degree to finish. Bank refused our loan this morning. Don't worry. We'll be okay. No. You have to speak to your dad. To his fighting week. Shagging blunts. All right. Hey, brother, listen. I gotta do some stuff now, yeah. Maybe later. That's cool. I hear you're a busy man these days. You know what? Fuck it. Why don't you come with me? I'll do my shit. And we'll go get some tea. Yeah. Aki. Hmm? I missed you, man. What's going on? You two falling out? Nah. Aki's always hyper these days. Makes me nervous. I think he's using his own stuff. Makes you feel powerful, doesn't it? Biggest high in all that. He's a name now, around here. Who's the guy? Anif. Gang guy. Legit green. Fuck. Fuck. 
this. It's cool. They've gone. I'm going home. You want to lift back? No, I'll get one with Aki. Peace, yeah? Yeah. Did you see those Ben George, yeah? That's what they do every day. They fuck with our heads. Give me the NF any day. At least those bastards out front about it. Get in. Salam. On the night shift again. What can a brother do? Do anything else? Now we're good. Shahid. You still play the horses? No. I've left all that behind now. I'm saving up to get married. No. Straight up. I want to settle down. You're a joker, man. You want to say something to me, Kareem? Well, next time I come back here, you're going to be banged up in Moorlands. What? You want to save me? Right, take me down to the mosque and make me Sharif. Is that going to stop you putting that shit up your nose? When you get your degree, are you going to come back here to work in Manningham? I don't know, maybe. Bullshit. Because you got prospects now, Kareem. Education, contacts, white friends. You ain't going to come back here and work like Shahid on £100 a week. Round here, there's only two choices. And now everybody respects you, right? You're Mr. Bad Boy in Manningham. I'm happy for you, brother. <laughs> Truly. You're doing well. But don't fucking judge what I do. Let's face it, Kareem. You don't really live here no more. Library. Right. What's your problem, Fessel? Nothing. Just don't expect me to buy the bullshit that you feed Dad. Believe what you like. You think you're special, don't you, Kareem? I know what you really are, bro. So what's that, then? What's happening? Ah, uh, just loads of bros hanging around the square. Seen any NF? Nah. What are you doing? Closing early. Yeah. Kill the NF, in it! Streets full of hooligans. It's a Nazi league. NF are behind the police. How do you know? Well, seems just seeing them coming down Bridge Street, they were doing Hitler's loose and everything. How many? Hey, hey, hold up, check it out. You have to keep the national from They're Africa. blocking them off from us! Oh, 
Everyone's up for it. I don't like it, man. properly in Manchester, tight gigs. Who was about? You're just going to let them do that? I just spat at us, they're NF. Move on. See what they do? Move on. We just walked past loads of NF in a pub. Kareem, come on, look! Shot is getting kicked in by the NF. Where? Broadway. <laughs> Alright, we're dealing with it. You think you're dealing with this? And the shit to stay back! Come on, get out! 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 Zero. Repeat code zero. Intercept Asian youths heading towards Broadway. All PSU units clear alert. Urgently require ambulance in Broadway. We have one Asian casualty. Are you going to arrest the others? That guy did all the kicking. You're fucking out of order. Right, you, come here. He doesn't mean it. Come on. Get out of here. by the end of the year, Baji. Guaranteed. I'll have new orders in November and then we can... I've got no money to give you. Your savings? It's gone to Kareem. His fees for his college, his accommodation, books. We have more. From your redundancy. I have to pay for his final year. Regency House, some kid called Mustafa. They've herded his heart like animals. He's sick running from these banjo.
Christmas. I told you. Next year we'll have a bigger festival. His mobile's been off since five. If Kareem's out there, then that's his own choice. That's all? No, he's responsible for himself. I'm not going. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? I'm going to bring him back. No, oh, buddy. Don't worry. That's all we'll get him. Ajo. Oh, but Ajo. Ajo. Don't fuck with me, brother. Just tell me where he is. He's up in the front. some decisions for yourself. Okay. Go well, fuck yourself, then. I'm out of here, bruv.
take one. Go on, take one. Don't go pussy on me now, Kareem. We're all brothers here. I know. They need to learn, yeah? They can't fuck with us in the art streets. We're burning them down, Aki. Manning was burning down. Look around you. You still haven't figured out yet, have you, brother? Whose side are you on? The gold here, open it. Blood on your head. It's nothing. Go back to bed. Let me look at it. Oh, Jesus wept. What happened, Vessel? I got it by a rock. Stupid kids going crazy out there. This isn't good, Vessel. I think you need stitches. Rubbish. It's just a cut. What's wrong? Why are you acting all weird? Satisfied. Still going on, isn't it? Why don't you burn the town down and then come on me? Did the police do that to you? I got hit by a rock. Haki said you fell down on the horse's charge. I got hit by a rock, OK? Responsible for me being out there. Sorry. Bollocks yourself, this little twat doesn't give a fuck about anyone else. In fact, if you get out of my house, you make me sick. Go to bed, Kareem. You won't tell a bar. that damage to buildings and property will run into many millions of pounds. Bradford is the latest northern town to suffer race rioting this summer after recent disturbances flared up in Oldham and in Burnley. And once again, community leaders have blamed right-wing extremists for provoking last night's rioting. But whatever the provocation, the ensuing rage and violence of the night has left the whole of Bradford reeling. This was one of the fiercest barrages ever faced by the police. So violent an onslaught, they retreated, and it seemed that the mob had won. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Irakman Irahim, Maliki Yomiddin. Iyaka Nabadoa, Iyaka Nastain. Ihidina Sirat al Mustakima, Sirat al Medina. Anamta lehim rerel maktube lehim walad walin. Amen. Allahu Akbar. Fire crews are still damping down at the Manningham Labour Club, which was torched last night. Rioters also firebombed the BMW showroom on Oak Lane. The manager there says it's now fit only for demolition. Vehicles worth thousands. Those people involved. Better be looking behind them. We will be looking for people for quite a number of weeks to come.
Tell me the truth. Were you there last night? No, Abuji. Okay. Trying to find me, brother. I lost control. My temper. I lost. Do you know the Ayat Karima? Huh? You say it with me? La ilaha illa anta. La ilaha illa anta. Subhanaka. Subhanaka. Ini kuntu manaz walimi. Ini kuntu manaz walimi. Say it again better. La ilaha illa anta. La ilaha illa anta. Subhanaka. Subhanaka. Ini kuntu manaz walimi. Ini kuntu manaz walimi. I lied to my dad today. Looked him in the face and lied to him. Aki. You took that from the BMW garage. That's right, Kareem. Go home. For what, brother? What are you gonna do? Go home. To your books. Let's go, Kareem. The police charged the crowd with shields. Into us! No! Are you worked? Turn it off! I searched for it. I said! Right, you're going to bed. Shazia, let me. No, Bessel! We have to help the police find these criminals. Have a clean conscience. His temper's getting worse. You don't see it. He's just upset over the festival. What happened to you last night? Tough to go over it again. Where do you want this? Put it in the back with the rest of the silks. Have you unpacked the silvers? Not yet. I want them on display by lunch. <laughs> <sighs> 
Thanks, Abuji. Very helpful girl in the bookshop. She has a, a politics degree from Oxford. <laughs> That's great. How's your college work? No, it's fine. You're not spending too much time in the shop, are you, huh? No, no. I'm all right, Appa, really. I used to do a ten-hour shift in the mill, come home, have a cup of tea, and then read for two hours. Brain exercise. Thanks, Abuji. Put your coat on properly. See ya. Hiya. You all right? You coming off for Imtiaz's birthday? You got the invitations I sent. I'm sorry, we're busy. Thought you were coming. We can't make it either. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Come on, John. Let's get going. Yeah, me too. Come on, Sarah. Right, my grand lives in Wetley Hill, and she's too scared to go out of her own front door. Well, I appreciate that, Julie, but, I mean, are you saying, are you really saying that you're happy that these photos of the rioters have been published today? I mean, to me, it looks like something out of the Wild West wanted yeah, poster. Yeah, right message, though, doesn't it? That the Pakistani community, they have to help us to find these thugs. Otherwise, they're just looking after their own, aren't they? Everybody hates us now. Messed it up for all of us, you and your mates. Police have printed 20 wanted pictures of the rioters. You are? You're not in there. In Diaz, our job. Stopped on. You know him? Yeah, below at school. Jav. Yeah, looking at it now. You got it in front of you. Take his coat off. He wants you. Okay, I'll sort it out. Shall I say what? He looked at me like I was a piece of shit on their shoe. Who did? The other mothers at the Monday Club. They were on hates before. Bloody riot. Give it to me. Have it with tea. Right, and what's it do? Protects me from that bad shit. <laughs> Fuck off. You know, Manningham's full of bad spirits. People are brought back from Pakistan. <laughs> nah, check it out. He's shied. Back at work. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Please, my Abba.
Why is the shop closed? What? Printed some more photos. Still? They put your picture up in the mask. Your photo is up in the mosque wall like a common criminal. No more lies. Were you at the right? Yes. And what did you do? I threw some stones. At the police? Did you set fire to anything? Cars, buildings? That's all. I promise, Uncle Jim. What about the BMW garage? I wasn't there. I was back by then, you know that. Why, Karim, why? Why do you want to ruin your whole future for this? Hmm? The NFB of Shahid. And so you throw stones at the police, huh? You have brains. You have brains, Karim. What were you thinking? I'm sorry, Abuja. I want you to go down to the police station and admit everything, huh? The police are fair. They will not put you in jail for throwing stones. Go. Go get changed. You want me to go then? Yes! And put on something smart! Look respectable! Go! Okay, I'll take him. Phone Hassan at the solicitors. on suspicion of being involved in a violent disorder in Bradford on the 7th of July. Do you understand the caution that DC McCall gave you? Can you tell me why you went into Bradford City Centre on the 7th? I heard that the NF were going to march in town and there was a, a, a demo in Centenary Square. So I basically just went along to see what was happening. You didn't know that the National Front March was banned? I heard that the, the, the NF was still coming in to cause trouble. The march was banned by the government and didn't take place. There was still NF in Bradford. I saw them. What time did you get into the centre? I don't remember. Um, it's about 2 p.m. I want you to look at a still. This is image 49 of LQ186, timed at 2.30 p.m. on Centenary Square. Who's that person? That's me. Can you confirm you're wearing a red Adidas tracksuit top? Yeah, that's me. Note, Kareem Azad confirms identification as LQ186. This is my son. He came for an interview. I just need some details. Yes, he's in Javi. And the uh, address is number five, uh, Signal Field. This is timed at 7 p.m. on White Abbey Road. That's you, right? What are you doing there on White Abbey Road? We got pushed to White Abbey by the police. You were chasing us out of the city on your horses. Can you tell me what you've got in your hand? A stone. Looks more like a brick.
when you're throwing bricks at the police, Karim. You just worked up with the rest of the crowd. You were protecting the NF. My mate Shahid got beat up by the NF. I was there. I saw it. So, let me get this straight. You're saying you went to White's Abbey with the intention of taking revenge by attacking the police? No. No. I told you we were chased out there by your horses. But you're throwing bricks at the police because you're feeling angry? Angry about your mate? Is that right? I'm just trying to understand. I suppose. Can you run the video compilation? at 7.45 p.m. on White Abbey Road. How far would you say the police are from you there? I don't know. 20 feet? I'd say it's less than 20 feet. What would happen if you caught someone with that brick on the head from that range? It would be pretty bad. Was that your intention? To cause serious injury? Three hundred and twenty-six officers received injuries that night. Head injuries, third-degree burns, psychological trauma. What if you were a member of the public present at that scene? Would you be scared for your safety? But what if you were a police officer faced with petrol bombs, rocks, bricks, fireworks, burning cars coming at you? You'd be very scared, wouldn't you? Yeah. Would it be fair to say, Kareem, that you were part of a large violent group? I wasn't with any group. I was on my own. Nevertheless, you were in a large crowd that were all throwing missiles at the police at the same time. You happy with that? I guess. Okay. Hasanji, what is a right charge? They're taking it very seriously. But he just chucked a few stones. He's a first time offender. Which is on our side. We're going to fight this, aren't we? I mean, I was provoked. We all were. I need time to work out our best course for action, Kareem. We're in good hands. Seems rattled, shaken up. No, 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 he's a professional. He got his law degree from Lahore University. Kareem! Leave him. Don't think about it. I won't be able to hack it. I know. It'd be fine. I'd kill my mom. Useless.
How did you know where we'd be? Places don't change. Just the faces. How's Abba? Don't you worry about him. Just get yourself straight. Hassan, they were stamping on Shahid's head right in front of the police. That's why I stayed. Sit down, Karim, and listen to Mr. Hassan. The police chased us out with horses and dogs, ran us out of town when we hadn't done anything. That must count. They have video evidence of every one of the bricks you threw. It was self-defense. They kept charging at us. That must be on videotapes. Yes, maybe. But why didn't you just go home after the police chased you out? We were defending our rights as human beings in our own town. If you plead guilty, Kareem, the judge will have to be lenient by law. No. Mr. Hassan knows the law, Kareem. Listen to him. So, Abba, you want me to just accept it as if it was all our fault? We have some fantastic letters from Kareem's university tutors and teachers from his school. This will really help us. So he'll be back at the university next year. Yes, Hassanji? Almost certainly. Thousands are feared to have died inside the buildings after two hijacked planes slammed into the north and Take south towers. No one has claimed Come responsibility for the attack, but U.S. officials are pointing the finger at the Islamic militant Osama bin Laden. How do they know these people are Islamic? Or... Where do they get the information from so quickly? They fear us or they blame us. A couple of hours, I blame Islam. Take him out, I said. Then at 9.59 a.m., the South Tower dramatically collapsed, releasing a gigantic cloud of debris through the streets of Manhattan. Terrified New Yorkers ran screaming for cover as a huge ball of rubble grew behind them. In scenes reminiscent of a war zone, the North Tower collapsed... Come to bed. Would you manage alone? Just you and him? What is this nonsense? What's up with you, Fessel? You seem scared. The world blames us for a thousand American deaths. I mean, which Muslim isn't scared? No. Even before today. Go to bed. I'll be there soon. Aki's not going to hand himself in. No. You reckon someone will grass him? Please say they've had a 1,000 people call up already. Camera's avoiding us. We're marked now. Nobody knows what we've been saying to the police. No way. You get caught in my car, they'll come to me. We won't get caught. Think clearly, Kareem. You've got a court day. Fessel, he needs my help. Hasn't he fucked up your life enough? I mean, that kid out there, scum. He's why the community is going down the shit hole. It's all right, bro. I'll go. Thanks for the clothes, Kareem. But I'll, I'll walk you out.
What's Vassal gonna do when you get back? I'm just borrowing it. <laughs> How white is his own brother's cat? When you in court? 2nd of December. Ten weeks. Don't trust him, Kareem. What? Because you go to university, you think they're gonna treat you differently? My solicitor thinks it will help. Brother, listen. You're just another Muslim thug out there to fuck up their white world. So what do I do? Go on the run like you? It's them on us, Kareem. They're gonna nail every single one of us and throw away the key. Even your brother. What? Why would they come after my brother? Ask him. You're gonna try and get to Pakistan? Inshallah. Then what? Lie low. And the rest is up to Allah. Tafis. Proud of yourself. All that education. All them books you read. And you're still such a fucking idiot. Tell me how that works, eh? Talk to me, brother. Hey? Hey? What did you do at the riots, Vessel? You know. What did you do at the riots? Why are you asking that? He said the police would come after you too. Nothing. I did nothing at the riots. Leave me alone. Could you take him for half hour? I need to go to my mum's. Trust you. I'll take him. Cheers, Green. No sweets. Policeman on a horse. He hit me with a baton. I fell. When I was on the ground, another policeman came and dragged me up. Tried to arrest me. I hit him with a stick. Then I ran. This is after you left me. You've been checking the photos. Every Friday. You might not have caught it on the cameras. It's my fault you were there. I've hated you, Corrine. I'm sorry. I lost control. I need to take responsibility. The probation service has prepared a fantastic report on you. Piece of advice. When you stand before the judge, don't slouch. I have it on good authority, you hate slouches.
What's in the bag? Toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, boxer short socks. You'll be okay. You'll stay strong. I'm scared, Vessel. I know. Come here. Come here. Be brave, little brother. I've no doubts, Your Honor. The man before you was an active and willing participant in a lawless mob that brought mayhem and violence such as has never been seen in this city before. I would now like to play the police compilation video of subject LQ-186. The defendant, Karim Azad. defendant foolishly let himself be caught up in the heated passions of that day without due consideration for his own behavior. Karim will be the first to admit that he acted unwisely and certainly out of character. This, this is his first offense. I say let it not affect the rest of his life. Karim Azad, you have pleaded guilty to the offence of riot. That charge arises out of events which occurred in this city on the afternoon and evening of Saturday, July the 7th and the early morning of Sunday, July the 8th this year. As is clear from the evidence presented to me in your case, and in particular from the videos which we all have seen, there was, over a period of about 12 hours, public disorder on a massive scale which involved burning, looting and destruction and also sustained violence directed principally at the police. Where, as here, there is wholly gratuitous, vicious and prolonged violence, I am not concerned with its origins. What does he mean? I don't know. In your case, Kerry Mazad, you were first filmed at 2.53 in Centenary Square, where you were behaving yourself. However, this was not later the case on Lum Lane and White Abbey Road, where between 4.45 p.m. and 9.45 p.m., you were seen on seven occasions to throw missiles. On one occasion, you were seen with your arms up, and I have no doubt that you were encouraging others to throw missiles. I bear fully in mind that you surrendered yourself to the police within hours of the publication of your photograph. I bear fully in mind your early guilty plea. I've read three highly complimentary character references from your tutors at university and your headmaster at school. I accept that this is your first offence. And I have read a detailed account from your probation officer who submits that your risk of reoffending is very low and that you have learned a lesson. Be nice to him. Be nice to him. However, I must pay heed to precisely what you did and to your involvement in this dreadful incident. Considering all the evidence, the sentence which I pass, recognizing as I do the need in all circumstances, both to punish and deter, is that Karim Azad, you will go to prison for five years. 
five years. People get less than that for murder, man. What did he say? What did he say? It's given Kareem five years. But he just, he just threw seven stones. Let, let me talk to the just two. I haven't you. And this is a mistake. I'm sorry, Kareem. It's a shock to us. I'm sorry. I just have to take it. These bastards give me five years and I've done nothing about it! Kareem, please calm down. He fixed me up. Can't you see that? I believed you and they fixed me up! Are you not going to join them? We should move to Pakistan. What? We can go as soon as possible. Why would we move to Pakistan now? This is crazy talk. We can start again. Imtiaz will be okay. Pakistan is different nowadays. It has progressive schools. What's wrong, Fessel? Why do we need to start again? I'm sorry about Kareem. I can't believe it. The head was here. Things have changed. This is my home. We can't just leave. You think they want us here? Vessel. No one gives a fuck about us anymore! Please don't do this. You're scaring me. They want us off the streets so they can feel safe again. I don't want you to talk to a budgie. Not when you're like this. Pork chop, muslin boy. We need to get acclimatised, Azad. One first weekend here, 23 hours a day in here. Lots to be thinking about that. Shahid with a free. I don't know. He gets the shit kicked out of him. And they give him 120 hours community service. Wow. Well, he pleaded guilty, didn't he? They got to him somehow. It's like 
everything else they've done to us. I don't care, Groom. Then can't you see, Jeff? They're sweeping us all into the carpet, making sure there aren't any loose ends. Look, Groom. You're becoming a stress head and you do my fucking nothing as well. Just do your time, bro. Azad. So. Apogee. What's the matter, Apogee? They took Faisal. How many fucking times can you pray? <laughs> Will you fucking shut up, you Muslim terrorist? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Come <laughs> on!